Let's look at another example. So this is going from R2 to R2. Right? So if you give me some vector x, right, this is going to give me another vector that's going to be somewhere. So this is going to give me some u. Uh, so now I want to know, if you give me a u and v for this vector here, can I always find an x and y? And if so, uh, is it always going to be unique? So first column is 1, 2. Second column is 1, minus 1. And I get uv. Again, I'm just going to tell you what I got for my reduced row echelon form. Um, so when I put this in row echelon form, here's what I got u over 3 plus v over 3, and then 2u over 3 minus v over 3. And again, it doesn't really matter about this. I always know I'm just going to get a bunch of gibberish here. Uh, so I really don't have to worry about that. What really matters is the reduced row echelon form of this matrix gives me this. Now if I look at every column, Right, so this is going to be my columns for x and y, which I'm getting from here. I'm going to have a unique solution for x. You give me a u and v that works. I'm going to find x. I'm going to find y. So uh, this means that it's going to be one to one. I got to be careful. It's unique. Um, also, if I go across the rows, every row has a pivot. So no matter what u and v you give me, I can always find it at least one x and y. So it's also on to. Okay, last example. So what are we doing here? We are going to now go from R3. So I'm going to take some vector in here, and you're going to get some vector in R2. So the xy plane. So you give me some vector in the xy plane. We'll call it x. That's going to give you some vector u. Sorry, this is going to be x is in the xyz volume. And this is going to give me some vector u in the xy plane. So let's see. So this is going to be some vector u. We'll call it uv. I go to solve this, I'm going to have first column is 2, 1, second column is 4, 1, third column is minus 2, 1, is equal to uv. And again, I'm just going to tell you what I got. I put this in reduced row echelon form earlier. I got 1, 0, 3 is 2v minus u over 2, and 0, 1 minus 2 is u over 2 minus v. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now what do I get? I have, if I go across any column, this column, so what is this? This is going to be my x column, my y column, my z column. There's not a pivot here, so I can't solve for z uniquely. Right? Y, so if you just look across this bottom row, it says y minus 2z equals u over 2 minus v. Right, if you give me a valid value of u and v, there's going to be infinite solutions to this because you can plug in any value for z and then solve for y. So this is not one to one. Right? And again, this column has no pivot. If I look at the rows though, every row has a pivot. So there's no restriction on u and v. I can always find an x, y, and z, at least one, no matter what u and v you give me. So this thing is on to.